So, I've been working with these kids. I, I have a couple of kids that I took on just because I miss teaching children. And this one little boy that I have is amazing. He has, he has an ear, you know, I can play a chord and he could be on the other side of the room and he could tell me what it is. So yeah, which is, his mom brags about him all the time, but he's, he's really, really, really a good musician. And he learns really fast, but I gave him a book a couple of weeks ago and in the back of the book, was this exercise. And I'm, I'm lately, I'm really getting into, especially when you come in to take a private lesson, I'm gonna start, and we were talking about this in the beginner class today, there comes a point when you play that you really have to, you have to start building on your foundation because you can't just sit and play notes and chords forever. You gotta, to get to the next level, you're gonna have to learn some of the exercises. You're gonna, you already know the scales. You know that two and a half and three and a half steps make a scale. But now you, you, you gotta take the scales to the next level. And this, this sheet will do that for you. These are just the eight steps, the eight white notes on the keyboard. That's all it is. So we're gonna make a scale out of every single one of these. Only we're not gonna do the whole scale. We're only going to do five notes. They're called the five finger position. Remember, you got the basic one a long time ago for me. Oh yeah. Da 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 da. Ding. And you then you play every other note. But every single one of these positions has three chords. That's why in my book, remember on the page that says chords and sets of threes. I wish you could turn that camera around <laughs> this way because your faces are all. <laughs> We're trying to remember. Oh, okay. That would make a good song. Try to remember. <laughs> I think somebody already did that. Okay, remember the circle. Yeah, the circle. All right. Do you have the circle memorized? What? What's at twelve o'clock? C. C. F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. All right, coming up the back, B, E, A, D, and G. Now, this is right up there. That's why you guys are all so smart. It's on the paper right in front of you. This is the key to the way chords work. Now, if you're watching it on a video, and every time I do this, somebody emails me and says, your circle is backwards. Well, the old circles and the old books, the old piano books, the G is over here and the S over here. But I'm sorry, I learned it this way. I think it's easier, it doesn't really matter. But this way, all the flatted keys are on the right and all the sharp keys are on the left. And if you go this way on the circle, it's called the circle of fourths. C to F is four notes. F to B flat is four notes and intervals of a fourth. Got it? Mm -hmm. If you go to the left on the circle, it's the circle of fifths. All right, from C to G is five, from G to D is five. Okay? This way, fourths, this way, fifths. And it would go all the way around the circle. Like yep, B flat to E flat is four, all the way around the circle. A to D is four. If you go clockwise, the intervals are fourths. If you go counterclockwise, they are. Yeah, seems hard to do the same thing going one way is one way. Well, it's just how far apart are the yeah, notes. Yeah. C to F is four, C to G is five. Okay? Now watch, because I have to explain this. This is a shortcut for scales. All right, if I write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes in the scale, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Okay? If I turn step number one, chord number one, into a, or note number one, into a chord, 
It's spelled C-E-G. In the key of C, there are no sharps and no flats, correct? Correct. Okay, now, I'm going to do this really slow and really, because I'm going to watch your heads. If I say correct, you're supposed to go like this. If you don't get it, go like this, okay? Because that means they're not going to get it on the video either. All right, key of C has no sharps, no flats. Consequently, none of the chords that I make out of these steps can have sharps or flats in them either. Okay? So, if you turn the first step of any scale into a chord, it is always going to be a major chord. Now, for now, we're going to say that. Okay? Everybody always has something else. But right now, basic music theory... One, the tonic, and, and they use a capital letter Roman numeral like this. If, if you're watching the video and you're been to college, that's what they use, okay? D, F sharp, and A is how you spell D chord, right? D, F sharp, A. I can't have an F sharp. So what happens when you flat the third step of a chord? The minor. It becomes a minor. So the second step of a scale, if you turn it into a chord, becomes a minor. Okay? Third, E, G sharp, B. Take that G sharp, can't have it, and I just turned my finger black. E, G, and B becomes minor. One, two, three. Okay? Third step of the scale is minor. Four is F, A, C. That's good. That's major. Is that a four? Yeah. That's yes. a TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, smarty. There. All right. Number five, GBD. GBD. Major. Major. Number six, ACE. Major. Minor. Okay, can't have C sharp, so that becomes mine. And seven is diminished because B, D sharp, F sharp, but we're not going to talk about those two. All right, in any scale then, one, four, and five. The tonic, the dominant, which is five, and the subdominant, which is four. Sub means under. One, four, and five are the actual chords that you will see in a song that's written in the key of C. That's the Spanish key. Oh. <laughs> Took a while. Wonder if the video people will laugh. Oh. One, four, five, okay? All right, so in the key of C, what are the, what are the major chords? C, C F, F, and G. That's, people go, Oh, yeah, those are the first three chords I ever learned. Yeah. Well, how come? Because key of C has no sharps, no flats. It's the easiest key. Well, they say it's easiest, but that's, that's why. It All right. for me. It is for everybody. <laughs> but now look, I don't really want to learn all the scales, and I can't remember in the key of A what 1, 4, and 5 is. Although I'm pretty sure that's why God gave me five fingers. That to add 8 and 4 and 8 and 5, because I hate those. So, if I have a song in the key of D, I can use my five fingers to go D, E, F, G, and A, D, G, and A, okay, or if it's, it's the key of G, G, A, B, C, and D, and you get one, four, and five. But the easiest way to do it is to have a circle somewhere yeah. on your watch. I had one lady, she took the face off her watch, took a, took a piece of paper and wrote it where the letters were on her watch, so all she had to do was go like this and look at her wrist. Okay, um, some people take clocks. You can take a big clock, take the face off, and, and stick C, F, B flat. We've, we've had contests in class. People, One lady bought one of those um, sunflowers that goes the, blows around in circles, put them on there and stuck them outside. She could play whatever key was at the top that morning. <laughs> She did. One lady made a pillow, laid it on a, you know, embroidered it on a pillow, sat it on the couch next to the organ, so she could just look over at it, or you can just make one out of paper. I did one out of a paper plate, just thumbtacked it to the wall above the organ. 
That's a nice decorative touch. Right. It's nice if you can turn it. <laughs> it's really nice. Okay, so in the key of C, the three major chords, and this makes it really easy. One, four, five. Hello. 